I'm Mary Ann Davis. I'm the director of the Systems and Psychosocial Advances Research Center, Pedagon Spark. I'm also the director of the Transitions Research and Training Center, which is a center within Spark that focuses on transitioning youth and young adults. Uh, I think one of the things that I have found interesting in working with uh, young people um, who are less than mature adults is that um, over time I occasionally hear them talking about the term recovery. Um, and I think it's a term that largely came out of the adult mental health system um, and has been, uh, I think, used less in the child mental health system. And then for transition age youth and young adults, they kind of sit in between those two uh, age groups and between those two systems. Um, and so I think the recovery terminology may be less uh, commonly used or commonly embraced in that uh, youth and young adult group. Um, and while I think the concept uh, of, of pursuing your path to what you hope for in your life obviously applies really well for that age group, uh, the term itself may not be as uh, widely embraced at this point. Um, and I also know that for some people there's there can be some confusion between I think particularly for this age group, because uh, this is the peak age for substance use, that there may be some sensitivity around the, the assumption that if you talk about being in recovery without having an opportunity to talk about what that really means, uh, it may, uh, people feel that it sort of implies that they're in recovery from substance abuse, uh, more so than maybe for children or for adults. And so I think that it has some nuances that are really different for transition age youth and young adults. But again, the, the, the meaning of recovery to have hope about your life and to find your path to achieving what you hope for is absolutely on target for every age.